Hi everyone. One of my former students asked me how to model a swimming pool. Um, she was doing a swimming pool for um, um, she was an engineer, and um, she gave me a, sent me a file um, like the one shown here, and um, asked me how I'd go about it, thinking that there might be a way to use the follow me tool and somehow use the profile of the swimming pool to um, trace around the perimeter of the pool. Um, so uh, I'm going to show a, a different way of modeling the swimming pool. Um, as you can see at the moment, um, the profile of the pool is this um, this shape here, and it's um, the walls are 150 mil thick, and there's also this little sort of lip piece here. And um, the other thing too is that um, this curve here is a radius of 300 millimeters. So um, to the outer, it would be if there, this was a curve, that would be 450. So anyway, um, what I'm going to, oh, and sorry, this also these curves here uh, have a, a radius of 300 millimeters as well. So um, what I'm going to do first of all is, uh, is um, um, although this, while this is useful, this data, uh, I'm not going to use it at, for the moment. So I'm just going to, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace off the, um, just the whole, the general shape of the swimming pool. Just uh, like so. I'm going to go in fairly close to that. Yep. And go to there. So that we have a shape that's um, made out of the, uh, just using the pen tool. Um, and I, I did use a shortcut key then just use L for line just to create that shape. Um, but um, I'll, I'll stick to the buttons from here on in. Um, so I'm going to use the, um, the uh, move tool here. And I'm just going to move this shape so that it sits, um, just so it sits on the same same um, line as, as that there. So what I did then was actually use the X-ray tool so that I could actually see that point without it. Because um, when I move the shape towards it, I would actually unfortunately cover that line. So by using the X-ray tool, that allowed me to actually see what point I was I was actually moving to. And um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, going to push pull this face so that um, it is 150 mil wide, and that's going to be one of the sides of the swimming pool. And and I'm just going to copy that. So what I did then was I just used the selection tool and I triple clicked to select everything, and then I'm just going to move that across and make a copy of it at the same time. So in Mac, it's it, you press Option, on the PC you press Control, and I'm just going to move one across here. And you see how we've got a little, the green axis is lighting up there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock that on the green axis by pressing the left arrow key. And then I'm just going to bring that to that end line there. So, so now we have the two sides of the swimming pool, as you can see. And, um, and we've just got our, our, um, our um, other stuff that we brought in originally. Now, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a um, create the the floor and the um, walls of of this this part here. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an offset. So I'm going to use the offset tool, and I'm going to go and you can see how I'm going to do 150. Now you see at the moment here, if I now do a, a push pull and pull this out, I'm going to get a top. As well, and I could just you know get rid of that easily enough, but let's just do it properly in, in one step. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the offset tool and I'm going to just pre select these lines first not the top one, but just the, the bottom and the sides. So, then when I go to do my um, offset, you can see now 150 that I only do those sides and not the top. And that means now that I can just quite easily just push, do a push pull, and pull it across to there. So, um, so we have now the basic bones of the of the swimming pool. The it's a squared off version of the swimming pool. So let's just hide this bit now because we don't need that anymore. We don't need that either. Just for the moment, I've just hidden it, and uh, I'm just going to clean this up because I can see there's a few lines here and there. So I'm just going to use the eraser tool. And I'm just going to erase those little bits there. And I'm just going to look through it with the x-ray again and delete that one and delete that one. So now, so we have a nice clean shape to work with. 
So the next step I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use a plugin called um, Round Corner. It's a plugin which is written by author Fredo6, and uh, it's not actually available on the um, SketchUp extension warehouse. You actually have to go and download it from um, the Sketchucations extension store. So Sketchucation is a, a website, um, Sketchucation.com which has uh, a number of forums and tips and plugins and, and various bits and pieces for users of SketchUp. And um, um, they have their own extension store and uh, most of the stuff on their extension store is free. But um, to actually um, open their extension store, you actually need to download their, <coughs> their store extension, which is, this, which is this here, which I've already downloaded and installed already. So, um, Oops, it's gone away again. Here it is. Um, now, let me just, because um, the bottom's just cut off the screen, so let me just bring it in so you can see that there are some icons down the bottom. Here we go. Okay, so um, the extensions you need to install, install and you can see that um, this guy is fairly prolific with his um, with the number of extensions he's, he's created for SketchUp. If I'll just click on Fredo 6, and it'll show me all of his... Um, his uh, plugins that he's created. So um, the two that we're looking for um, is uh, Round Corner. So that's the main one that we're using. But we also need to download and install this one as well, LibFredo6, because um, it, it has a number of um, libraries and so on that uh, are used by this particular plugin. So we need to have that installed at the same time. So all you do is you just click on that, that little button there and that will install. Now I've already done that on my my computer um, a while back, so um, and we can actually look at that if we go. This is now 2017, and it has an extension manager here. So if we click on extension manager, we can actually see what's installed, and you can see here that libfredo6 is there, and also fredo6 uh, round corner is also has been installed on this machine. So um, so that's good. So don't need to worry about that we just now have to just use it to round some of these corners so looking at this shape here um, and I might just put it in perspective so we can see a few more of those corners at once um, so we want to round this this edge along here and also the sides up there around the whole thing so um, let's just go to um, let's go to his plugin which is under tools Fredo 6 collection round corner round corner and so this is the extension here, I'll just move that down a bit. Um, you can see here there are a number of different options on how it um, works, like for example when you do a rounding it, it does it in four sides. Uh, offset is um, 450 millimeters. So um, offset is basically the, the radius. So I'm going to set that to 300 millimeters, like so. And then I'm going to click on this face here and this face here as a, on a, as a start. Uh, I'm not going to click. I'm going to unclick that one because I want that one still to be quite a a, um, a straight line there. I don't want that curved. Uh, that one and that one. And let me just rotate so we look around the other side here. And uh, that one and that one. So that's all of the the um, the edges internally. And I'll do the external ones a bit later on. But um, if I now just click where into space here where there's a tick, click to execute and what it does is it, it's now created those those um, rounded corners for me um, yeah so um, that was very easy with that plugin um, how you would do it with um, the follow me tool um, yeah, I suppose you could do it it's a little bit difficult though um, but anyway this was this was relatively easy um, all the calculating and sort of working out has been done for you now, so I'm just going to round these um, outer corners as well, just because I think that um, it'll, it'll the pull will be better with rounded corners. So um, let me just now go back to my um, round corner plugin again, and I'm just going to. Oh, this time it's already set to 450 for me, which is what I want. So I'm just going to click on those corners, that one, that one, and I'm just going to right, rotate around so I can see that back one there. Oh, I can see a little problem there. Let me just get rid of that line. Don't want that. Now, let's start that again. Um, round the corner. Okay, this one. That one. That one. 
and that one at the back there, like so. So we've got all four now, now selected, and I'm just going to click and into space, click to execute, and there we go. So now we have the rounded version of the of the swimming pool. Um, so there's just a few little things now to do. Um, I don't particularly like that line there. I think that it's sort of just is a bit distracting. So I'm just going to delete that line. But uh, I'm going to delete it a special way. What I'm going to do is um, instead of just clicking the eraser tool, because watch what happens when I do that. See I the faces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a softened, smooth erase. So what it does is effectively deletes the line, but it it still keeps everything there and it just makes makes it look smooth. So if I'll just hold down Option, um, like that. I believe it's Alt in um, on the PC, and just click with the eraser tool, and that's now fixed. So um, now there's one last thing that we need to do is we need to create that lip um, from the original profile. So let me just turn that profile on again. Um, now you can see here that we've got um, just a little shape like that. So that's all we really want to add onto our onto our object. So let me just hide that and um, let's hide that one as well. So yeah, all we want to do is we want to have this around the whole edge of the swimming pool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, a path and do a follow me operation. So I'm just going to go around and select the outer edge of this um, of the swimming pool as it is at the moment. Just like so. Feel carefully. This and then I'm just going to go to um, I'm going to use the follow me tool, so which is this one here, or you can go to here tools and follow me. That's the same thing, and then just click on that that um, shape there. So as you can see now, what it's done is it has extruded that shape around the lip of my swimming pool, um, and it, yeah, it seems to be working okay. And there's a few extraneous lines here. There's these ones here, and also this would look nice if it was nice and round. So um, let me first just get my eraser tool out and I'm just going to erase these lines that are that I don't want in the model. Like so. Let's go over here. Like so and then and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna triple click on this because when I I can I can just do a single click to, to select single items, or I can double click and it'll select your face and um, and these the bounding lines, or if I triple click, everything that was touching where I actually clicked will actually be selected. Uh, so anyway, so what I've done is I've selected everything, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go down to smooth soften edges. And I'm just going to click that and, oh, there we go, and um, just now close that and um, there we go, it's all, it's, it's cleaned up. So um, yeah, so that's um, that's basically how you do it. It's it's not very difficult, and um, uh, just using that plugin really did make a big difference in in uh, the ease of actually creating this this um, model of the swimming pool. So anyway, I hope that that helps someone out there, and um, um, hope to catch you later.